Okay. This is what I've been waiting a while to do, so. Let's sort Leo and Stitch characters into Hogwarts houses. <clears throat> Not even actually easy to pick <laughs> the house for. She's extremely loyal to her sister. She can get frustrated, but just and angry, well, you know, she's kind, so, yeah, she's kind, loyal, and, yeah, she adopts Stitch, Jumbo, and Pleakley into the family, <laughs> so, you know, Nani is a Hufflepuff. Because Gantu cannot fit to any house other than Gryffindor. And he's a villain. <laughs> uh, he's not very intelligent. Like, probably average. He's not very wise. Uh, he is cunning, but not very cunning. Like, not overly cunning. Um, he doesn't really have any Hufflepuff traits, at least not in the first movie. So, yeah. Gantu is a Gryffindor. This one is a little difficult. Uh, I'm going to say he's not a Ravenclaw, because a Ravenclaw probably would have checked facts and not gotten everything about a planet he was supposed to have been studying his entire life wrong. <laughs> it's pretty much a joke that Pelikoli's knowledge of Earth is like a warped knowledge, like not a hundred percent factual um I'd say he might be a Hufflepuff because he does show a lot of loyalty to the Galactic Federation but I I don't f he could be a Gryffindor too no you know what I think he's a Hufflepuff personally yeah, he, he's a Hufflepuff, so, um, he's loyal, without a fault, he's constantly trying to do the right thing, despite Jumba, <laughs> wanting to do it all his way, <laughs> and he's thoughtful of Earth's environment and stuff. Not that that's a necessary Hufflepuff trait, but I just feel like it fits more in with Pleakley being a Hufflepuff, that he's like he is, so. Yeah, Pleakley is a Hufflepuff. Jumbo could fit into uh, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, or Gryffindor. So, I'm going to have to hard time proving my argument of which house he goes into, but I'll try. Um, I would put him in Ravenclaw, but he, well, I'd put him in Ravenclaw, if it wasn't for the fact that he shows such strong Gryffindor traits. You know, like, he's rash, very rash and reckless. Often diving into a situation without putting any thought into it at all, despite the fact he's a genius who somehow managed to create life, basically, through science. You know, so... Uh, he doesn't fit into Hufflepuff, for me at least, because... His Hufflepuff traits aren't as strong 
as the traits of the other houses are. So, oh, somebody's shooting guns. Wow, that's nice to go into the video. Anyways, he's a Gryffindor. Oh, my finger's on the webcam. <laughs> he's a Gryffindor. Lilo. She's overly accepting of everyone and everything, really. She's got some issues, but, you know, she's a very kind and generous person. She feeds the fish pee, peanut butter and jelly all the time, so, you know, nice person. So, yeah, she's extremely loyal, even to Stitch, Jumbo, and Pleakley, the aliens and she's very openly accepting of them too so you know she's a Hufflepuff <sighs> so yeah Lilo and Stitch has finally come to its final sorting for this video Stitch, because why not save the best for last, right? Um, he really it does show a lot of the house's traits. He's cunning like a Slytherin, wise and intelligent like a Ravenclaw, loyal and hardworking like a Hufflepuff, and he's got a lot of Gryffindor traits too. Honestly, I'd have to put him in Slytherin. Because he's of his cunning and willingness to like form like a plan that involves using Lilo as a shield in the movie. Basically, his protection from Jumba and Pleakley. That's cunning right there. And manipulative. So that gets him a point there. He outsmarts trained soldiers to using the uh, air ducts in the ship. That That's cunning as hell right there. So, um, yeah. I think Stitch belongs in Slytherin. So, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give yourselves a big thumbs up. Oh. Yeah, give yourselves a big thumbs up. And, uh, bye.